guys welcome back to my channel how are we all doing today in today's video we're going to be doing something different i'm going to be cooking and chatting with you guys yes i'm going to make beef stir fry what we'll eat as lunch and while i'm cooking i'm going to tell you guys about i'm just going to give you the real tea behind nora's conception yes the real gist behind um when and how my daughter was conceived so if it sounds like something you're interested in um please stay tuned So guys before i start let me show you guys what i'm working with this is my carrot i diced everything before i started this video because i was not about to come and waste our time this is my carrot this is my spring onions my granite oil my onions my green pepper my bell pepper my um atarado whatever people want to call it fresh pepper the beef itself my seasoning my soy sauce a lot of people don't use this before anybody will come at me and uh, this is not supposed to be used. A lot of people don't use this, but I like mine really dark, so I like to use it. My corn flour and my oyster sauce. Then my rice is already done because I'm already hungry. I want to eat as soon as this thing is done. So yeah, let's get cooking. But first, I feel like I need to say this. You know how if you've ever tried to conceive after marriage and people tell you, don't think about it if you're not thinking about it it's going to happen that thing is annoying like i heard it a lot and it annoyed me every time i heard it. even when it comes from my husband like how do you tell me not to think about it it's what we're doing it's i think about it when i'm ovulating i think about it when we're doing it i think about it when i'm on my period that's all i think about so telling me not to think about it is not possible but i have to be honest with you guys that shit works like when you don't think about it i feel like that's part of what helped me when we finally conceived nora i wasn't thinking about it that particular month i wasn't trying to conceive that particular month and boom i got pregnant like there's oil there's water in my oil so the first thing i like to add is my onions i also like to add garlic and um, ginger but i don't have any right now so i'll start with my onions yeah the more the better with my onions i hope you guys can see what i'm doing i don't know if this camera is positioned well my onions then my fresh pepper yeah i need to mind how i add pepper in my food these days that nora now eats almost everything with us yes allow it steam up a little bit then beef will go in so why we wait for that um if you don't already know i think i've said it in like two videos i got married may 2017 and initially when we got married we were not you know let's have kids now let's have kids now we're kind of indifferent about it we're just you know living the life yeah but after a while when it wasn't happening i started to get worried me I don't think my husband was but i started to get worried like what's happening why am i not yet pregnant ah, what is this one now? is it that hard this is not pregnancy that we see everywhere and stuff like that so it now became a concern we started being really conscious about it like intentionally trying i said i had to download so many um apps so many tracker apps i started talking to people i can talk to and had to talk to people i did not want to talk to because some of them will not mind their business so yeah that went on for months and months the whole of 2017 ended we entered 2018 it was my prayer request for the new year that i'm going to take in this new year 2018 yeah let me add my beef i don't think this oil is enough you see what i was saying about me and granite oil so mm. Some people don't steam their beef before frying it like this but it's just weird i feel like i'm eating raw meat if i don't steam it first so i prefer to steam it my ground oil is not enough so let me add more so i prefer to steam mine for a few minutes initially i used to steam for like um, 10 minutes but recently i started steaming longer because my toddler now eats with us so I try to steam longer so she won't find it difficult eating the meat and increases fire 
so she won't find it difficult eating this meat so back to my gist like i was saying the whole of 2017 ended then 2018 it was my new year prayer request for the for first quarter of 2018 i want to be pregnant first quarter came and passed and i don't really blame the body for not doing you know because first quarter was hectic for me with work and you know every other thing so it was really hectic i i lost so much weight i became really dark and all that was majorly work into house sports i was teaching into house sports it was crazy so it was really really hectic i'm not surprised i didn't take him then then we entered second quarter i was like okay this second quarter will not pass me by this second quarter will not pass me by i was doing everything um i could do then our anniversary came may one year anniversary and that was in the plan i always thought you know i'll be a mom before our first year anniversary so you can only imagine how i felt my wedding i got married two days after my birthday so my wedding anniversary is always two days after my birthday so on my birthday i was close to seeing my period or i was close to the end of a circle but i had faith that okay this one's not going to come in short i think i was already like a day late so i was convinced that okay this is not going to come even though i've i'm always late or too early or something like that like i don't know whether i was like that before i got married but since i got married and became you know, more aware of my flow it wasn't steady like this month it could be 24 days the next month is 26 days next month is 28 days and just always up down up down like that so but for some reason when i was late that month i just felt okay maybe i'm pregnant but on my birthday evening i think around 5 p.m or so my period started i tried not to allow it to ruin my day i tried by not even telling my husband so he won't knowing how i'll feel now he pitying me and all that and i start treating me like i'm one fragile person so i didn't even tell him my period has started but yeah and that day was on a friday so my period was that friday i think i told him later the next day in the morning saturday then sunday was our anniversary we went to church we hosted some people and all that and i've also read a lot of places that say if you've been trying for one year you should seek medical help so i had it at the back of my mind but i know my husband he would hesitate and all that but i had it at the back of my mind but it's not like i was obsessed that we need to go and see a doctor but i had it at the back of my mind that okay well, it's time for us to go and see a doctor so we'll just be sure that there's nothing wrong with any of us So guys back to my gist um so like i said our wedding anniversary passed and i said okay it's time for us to go see a doctor then i think about a week later i started feeling a pain that wasn't the first time i've been having that this particular um, stomach ache for for years i can't i can't remember how long but it said when i was still in um, university so but that day was really intense while i was at work like it almost rendered me useless so i told my husband oh, okay this thing has been going on for years now and i've never taken it serious i don't even know if it's connected to why you know i'm not yet pregnant so i think we should go and see our doctor that's my gynecologist which we did i think we went that same day 
and he examined me and all that mm. you know did some ran some tests what was wrong with me wasn't something serious it wasn't um, enough reason for me not to take in yeah if some people go through something way more advanced which you know would have stopped them from taking in but for me it wasn't that serious for me not to take in but he said okay since you want to be sure there's nothing wrong with you come back two days after your next period starts i think that's what he said two days after your next period starts which will be in june so i was now waiting for you know the next period to start they put me on some medication for what was wrong with me but yeah i was now waiting for my next period to start so that i'll go for a thorough examination and you know try and figure out figure out why i wasn't pregnant yet so imagine someone that has been trying for months trying to get pregnant and i said anticipating my period starting period that i've been praying should not come and i said anticipating for my period to start and okay now i remember that it was on a friday the day we went to the hospital was on a friday because because of the medication that they gave me i was supposed to abstain while taking those drugs like abstain from so i told myself okay i was going to start this drug the new week that's on sunday so this weekend let me just enjoy myself and you know enjoy my husband so I feel like I'm more carried away in what I'm saying than in what I'm cooking. So I'm not taking you guys along. I'm still frying the beef. So, so far, the only thing that has entered my frying pan is the onions, the fresh pepper, my blended pepper, um, my beef, and seasoning. I've seasoned what I'm cooking. I've added the oyster sauce and the soy sauce to, you know, darken my sauce and all that. So, yeah, so far, the vegetables are still all chilling. I just need the meat to get done before I add every other thing so back to my gist so like i said now i now decided okay i was just going to use this weekend to enjoy myself enjoy my husband since you know my birthday our anniversary i was on so let me just you know enjoy myself i started this medication and the abstinence rule so we went out that friday night i can't really remember where we went to I can't remember but i know we went out that friday night and came back a little late and you know got freaky freaky if you know what i mean i'm trying to keep this video pg so we got freaky freaky and uh, it's weird saying freaky freaky especially when i know that my mom is going to see this video this is so weird so yes we got freaky freaky that friday i need to stop saying this so that friday we got busy yeah we got busy that friday then saturday came and and the busy wasn't our regular busy because we were not trying to get pregnant like i was not trying to get pregnant so i just let myself lose i let myself enjoy it i got creative you know all the positions that they say if you do you're not going to get pregnant and all that you have to lie like this i, I threw all that out of the window because i didn't care i was not trying to get pregnant so i just let myself lose and enjoy myself and you know the week that i needed to take the medication came and i just faced that i did Took the medication for a week i think it was for six days and you know and funny enough by calculation that week i was taking the medication was actually my ovulation week by my calculation then so i was really convinced that okay this is not going to happen this month let's just you know do this medication let june come let my period start and we go for for examination figure out what is wrong with me and you know conquer it so that was all that my mind that i was thinking about that period so yeah let me check what i put on fire my beef has been frying for about 15 20 minutes now and i think it's getting soft enough so i'm going to add my carrots and my green pepper all right i'm adding all the veg now so but i like to start with my carrots because it's the strongest so it will soften so it will soften better i try to add it first and leave it for a few minutes before i add any other thing so yes i think what i like the most about this food is the color how you know by the time it's served you have orange you have um my bell pepper i usually prefer red but i didn't see red that's why i bought yellow but yeah still 
the food will still be colorful you have yellow you have green you have um, purple onion purple you have brown from the beef and if i mentioned green you have green from both the green pepper and the spring onions so yeah i think because of how colorful the food is it's one of the things i love so let me get back to my gist like i said i started to anticipate my period to start stay waiting you know it became 25 days 26 days 27 days i was like mm -mm, i'm not going to fall for it this is not the first time i'm late and i would buy a test strip or i would you know look forward to checking and when i when i'm about to it to actually start so I was like i'm not going to check and it was easy for me because it was during the week i was busy so i just you know indulged myself in my work and didn't think about it but by the time saturday came by it was now 30 days and i've never gone as far as 30 days so i said okay it's time to check and i had so many test strips i don't even know how i ended with so many test strips in my drawer but i checked the first one and the first one showed positive you know the second line was faint but it was clearly there i said no it's not possible i mean i barely did anything in this circle like i didn't even try so and i think it was just that one time i got busy so how can i how can it be positive this month of all months that i did not try i didn't believe it doubting thomas i now went i checked again i bought out another strip i checked that one showed negative and i was like okay this makes more sense like this one is more believable but why would i see two different results okay let me check one more time and be sure like whatever the result gives me that's what I'll, the third one gives me that was how you know believe so i checked the third one the third one was now bold like the two lines were bold and while i was still taking in what the third one gave me i now decided to look at the other two the first one the faint line had become clearer the second one that was just one line had become double line so like three of them were now staring me at my face like okay hope you believe us now so yeah that's how i found out i was um pregnant and after i found out i went back to sleep like i legit went back to lie down and you know i just said my thanksgiving prayer there because it's not by might it's not by power it's by the grace of god so i just said my thanksgiving prayer there and i was like okay let me see how how am i going to tell my husband i always felt like okay when i eventually take in i'm going to find some romantic dramatic way to tell my husband so i was just lying there thinking like how do I tell this guy? How do I make it, you know, cute and funny and all that? But, nah, my head block. I couldn't come up with any idea at all. So after like about an hour of, you know, just being there in my thoughts, I got up, I went to the other room because he, he's an early riser, so he was already out of the room. So I went to the other room and told him that I was pregnant. And even he too, he did not believe it because I'm sure in his mind he was like, but we barely you know but yeah so that's why i said that i believe not thinking about it actually works i feel like because my mind wasn't there i just enjoyed myself relaxed took my mind off everything you know took my mind off the worry and all that that you know that with obviously god's grace it happened so that's why i said that i'm not just saying it for saying sake like me. so guys um i'm almost done with my cooking this is what is left I need to make it a paste first before I add it to thicken my to thicken my sauce. Yep.
guys i knew this was going to happen i cannot remember where i was with my gist but i think i got to the part where i got pregnant or i found out i was pregnant and you know after i couldn't decide how to tell my husband i just told him the normal way i just walked up to him and told him he was, i was pregnant and you know he was surprised for a while i showed him the i showed him the results then i think on monday yeah for some reason i didn't go to work on monday i think it was midterm break or something i we now went to the hospital and you know did the blood test and confirmed pregnancy i remember my doctor was like hmm you see there's nothing wrong with you because he actually told me that there's nothing wrong with me but if i insist then i can come for you know the examination so yeah he was like told you there was nothing wrong with you and yes that's the end of my story that's the end of my gist and also the end of my cooking how do i show you guys this thing okay i'm done and um thank you so much for watching my video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe like comment you know just let me know if this, you enjoyed this video